a brand new day, a brand new year, going to a brand new venue here at the 2024 Phuket 11s. Brought to you by Dimbala Estates and Amora Hotels and Resorts. Let's do this. What a win, hey? Hi everyone! Happy First time here that we are at the Alan Cook Cricket Ground. Just spend a lot of time in the Aussie bar. That's the only way to drink and beat a boat race. What's the Tigers look like this year? I think pretty strong. We'll see. We'll see in a few minutes. Warm up time. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I promised you a new venue, and here it is. Welcome to the Allen Cook Field, smack bang in the middle of Phuket Island. Yeah, we've uh, we've gone back country style. You know what I mean? We, we're back with the tents and uh, and a grass pitch, which everybody seems to appreciate. Uh, we're the Singapore uh, San Miguel Wanderers, Wanderers Brinkley's. Our name is uh, the Graft and Big Rig for Bull Routes. Uh, Rob from South Africa, but we're all in Taiwan. So we are Punto Rugby. Uh, we're a charity team from the UK, uh, raising money for um, children with autism. We are the Pally Pigs from Perth, Western Australia. Uh, we're the High Street Girls from Dunedin and the South Island New Zealand. My team is the Bulls. Bull! Bull! That was fucking dreadful. Should try again. We've got a team from uh, Reunion Island, which uh, is a first for us. Sarah from KL Tigers. I've enjoyed this tournament so much that I basically have no voice left. Came together to form the Sea Barbarians, players from seven different teams. Sandy Finani, and we're from Hong Kong. Wave at the camera, girls. And of course, behind every great rugby tournament, every great rugby pitch, is a great rugby club. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Phuket Vagabonds. We've got, we've got Vagabonds versus Hong oh, Kong. The Vagabonds versus Hong Kong side, I reckon it'll be like three tries to one. For the Vagabonds. Yeah. Well, the Vagabonds is, is a social club here in uh, Phuket. We are a very social club. We like to play rugby. We all play for each other. We are associated with all the Phuket uh, 11s, the pitch in, we help out with the field, we help out with uh, getting everything organised. It's definitely a community club. Tell me about the academy. Uh, basically we've got a whole bunch of underprivileged kids and we're, we're getting them into rugby. It's, it's, it's all, not just about rugby, it's all about rugby as a base for life. The ACF is part, is, is part of the academy. Yes, yes, we've re-established connection through the um, academy who's doing coaching for uh, different groups of children on the island, but then my kids have been slotted in on Saturdays. It's really de developed a um, connection, like they feel they belong to rugby in general, and I think they learn a lot about perseverance and uh, time, you know, being on time. These are all the values that we work into this program. Uh, amazing bunch of children. Hopefully, in the next few years, they can replace the uh, older people like me and, and come into the Vagabonds and get some silverware. But this is only the very tip of the iceberg regarding the relationship between the Asia Centre Foundation and Phuket Rugby. It goes way back. 20 years in fact. We have eight teams still sponsoring our uh, scholarship students. We're quite happy that uh, they have been involved so long. Actually we're going to give them a little bit uh, of recognition today, later today, to say thank you because it's been 20 years. So that's, that's a big milestone for us. you got to understand that the dedication that Rowley is showing for the Asia Centre Foundation and everything they do, she could have turned around and quit at any time because it's never been easy, you know what I mean? But the support of the rugby community has made it that little bit easier. 
I've seen the fruits of that. 20 years later, kids that came in when they were five years old into the program, now going through university, graduating as nurses, teachers, you know, and who knows what else. I mean, how good is that? Yes, we're extremely thankful for being connected so long with this Phuket 11th uh, rugby event. We could never have done it alone. And uh, any virgins for the uh, fashion show? We have four tall virgins and uh, we understand they uh, have a very uh, special attire to wear. Recommend, recommend this tournament to other people? Oh, fantastic tournament. Absolutely fantastic. And we have loved every minute of it. Everyone has been fantastic. Uh, we'd recommend this tournament to any Golden Oldies rugby team. So it's yeah. really cool and we really enjoy the moment. Oh, absolutely, mate. It's been fantastic. We've had a great day. Uh, South Klang Dragon Rugby Club. Okay, and uh, how well have you gone in this tournament? Uh, we've gone all the way to the cup final and we're hoping to become champions. Are they ready to go? Yeah! Everybody's had a ball, they've loved the pitch, they've loved the venue, and what can I say? Oh, bring it on, 2025.